Let's start off with what's on my iPad. I've added a few widgets to my lock screen. So I have the calendar, the weather, I have the battery life for my Apple Pencil. I've added a shortcut to my content planner in Notion and also my YouTube scripts in my notes. So open in my lock screen, you come to my homepage and I have a couple of different homepages set up. We're gonna run through them real quick and then I'll show you also why I have them set up. So on this first homepage, I have this clock widget this is a quote widget and I got the picture from Pinterest. All of my pictures and my backgrounds, I have them saved on Pinterest. I'll add the link below if you're interested in using any of the wallpapers or the photos on my iPad. And I've also decided to go dark this time. So I have a dark aesthetic going on with my iPad. The next widget I have is the weather widget and this is also a smart stack. So I have a couple of widgets stacked on top of each other and you can rotate through them. So the first one is the weather widget and then you go to my batteries for all of my Bluetooth devices that are connected to my iPad. Then you get into my email. So I have my Google email and then also my Apple email set up here. And the next picture is my vision board for the year. I've added that widget using Widget Smith. A new addition to my home screen is I've added this shortcut widget to all of my home screens. And with having that on there, when I change to my different focus modes, it makes it easier to navigate through the different focus that I have set up for my iPad. This next widget is MD Vinyl. This is um, connected to my Spotify, so I can play music through here. If I click play, it'll start playing and pop up and go to Spotify and I can select it. And it's actually an interactive widget. You can see that the record is spinning while it's playing. Down below that, I have a widget using the list view for my calendar so I can see what's going on for the upcoming days. Beside that is my widget for Notion. I have it set to jump back to my last used Notion templates. The next widget I have is a reminder list and I'm using this as a running task list for the day. So at the beginning of the day, I'm trying to get into the habit of coming in here, writing down my tasks and it's an interactive widget. So when I click on the task and I've completed it, it checks it off and it disappears from the list. I don't have to open the widget up in order to get to the app, I can use it straight from my home screen and I love that. At the bottom, I have my suggested apps. So these are my basically recent used or most used apps. They already come on this home screen so I can just select from there. I can also get to my apps using my dock at the bottom and I can go to the app library. So I don't have a lot of apps on this first home screen. I just have the suggested ones and then the ones in the dock. And the last widget I have on here is a reminder. It says it's a new era, remember the goals. Just stay focused. So my next home page, I have it set up for my creativity. So whenever I'm working on stickers, planners, anything like that, this is the home screen that I would use. So I have a clock at the top and this is another smart stack. Under this one, that's where the shortcut widget is. Beside that, there's a quote, creativity takes courage. I have my good notes icon, another MD vinyl so I can listen to music. Below that, there's a reminders list for my to-do list as far as my creativity stuff. So I have two different lists, two different task lists, and this one is just for for anything that I need to work on creating. I have another quote widget and then beside that I have my folder for my files and then Procreate. Up under that I have some more apps that I use frequently like iFont, then I have Pinterest, Canva, Etsy. Below that is the Keynote app and then I have my Google Drive. And then I have another photo and another quote at the bottom. My next home screen is set up for, this is my productivity slash business home screen. So I have a smaller clock and I have the calendar that tells me what's going on for the day. I also have my email here in a widget so I can see quickly what's coming up in my Gmail. MD Vinyl, if it's not on all my home screens, it's on most of them. So there's another MD Vinyl here and a small photo. I have my Notion widget here that I can jump back into whatever I was working on last in Notion. Another quote widget. I have the shortcut widget here. So it's another smart stack. When you flip this one, it goes to my task list so I can see it when I'm working in my productivity. I can view the task list from here too. Below that, I have the smaller battery widget so I can see all my Bluetooth items, what the battery percentage is on those. Another um, quote widget. I have the my YouTube studios, Shopify, my notes, Zoom, Etsy, and then my Google Drive. The next home screen, I set it up for like entertainment slash reading. Just this is the one that I go to when I wanna watch or stream anything. So the top part of this is just a reminder for myself to take time and I don't have to be doing work or productivity stuff every time I'm picking up my iPad. My iPad is for fun stuff too. So this is the page that I go to when I wanna do that type of stuff on my iPad. I have the battery widget here. I have the clock with the date on it. Another quote widget. MD Vinyl again. This is another photo using Widget Smith. And I have some apps down at the bottom. I have Instagram, Hulu, um, YouTube, Prime Video, Netflix, and Facebook. 
that's all for this page. The last home screen is set up for my editing. This is a new home screen. So I just recently set this one up to go to when I'm doing editing or preparing my scripts. This is the page that I go to. So it's got a um, quote widget for consistency. We're working on consistency. This next app is for, this is the Sony image app. So I can look at my, what's on my camera. I can see it on my iPad. I can mirror it so I can make sure that I'm in focus. Make sure the picture looks how I want it to look before I hit record. Canva, then I have the um, the battery widget on this one. It's a smart stack. So under that is my shortcut widget. Then I have CapCut, I have Final Cut Pro, I have YouTube Studio here. I have my DJI, which is what I'm filming on. I can also control it from my iPad using this app. Under that, I have a widget for my recently used Notion templates. I have two photos that I've added this accomplish and starve your distractions and feed your focus keeping the motivation. Under that, I have my notes for my YouTube scripts, and then I have YouTube that I can jump in and watch YouTube videos, look at my channel, check just the actual YouTube channel itself and not the studio. And that's all for my home screen. So in addition to my main home screen, I have four other home screens set up, and that's because when I use the focus modes, I can jump quickly to them. So if I hit productivity, it's gonna jump to productivity. That's the only screen that I can see when I have this focus on. When I swipe to the right, it's going to show me my app library. And when I swipe to the left, I'll get the navigation bar. I've done a little customization to my navigation bar. I've added this widget in that I can keep track of what I'm spending the most time on because I'm trying to work on that. Just limiting my time and using my time wisely. And that's also a smart stack. So when I flip it, it goes to batteries, but this is a list version of the battery. So I can actually see the percentage for the battery on all my devices. And under that, I have the map. And then I have my, um, my Shazam, because I use this sometimes when I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm like, oh, I like that music. I might want to use that in one of my videos. I Shazam it. So once I, I Shazam it, it gives me the name of the song and I can go to I use epidemic um, sounds. I can go on there and search and see if it's a sound that's included with that subscription. And then below that, I have another shortcut widget. And that's my complete iPad setup. Now, if you're interested in seeing how I set everything up, check out the iPad productivity video link below where I go into details on my complete setup process. All right, y'all till next time.